Ahoy everyone! Ugh. Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight along with Eugene Sickly <laughs> First Mate Rick here at your service. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we've both moderately recovered, I'll say. And uh, let me turn that thing over. Uh, yeah, no, my okay, my volume is spiking quite a bit. Uh, hmm. Oh. Let me lower that some. And uh, yeah, the game that we will be start uh, that we will be starting with today is uh, an old an old favorite of mine. Uh, let's see. Let's drop that by a few decibels. Yeah, for so far I'm only seeing some free screen <laughs> of this. All right, a black screen. Okay, some toolbar. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There we go. Command those two men of courage. This is a, a probably the first uh, real-time uh, ish st uh, strategy game that I ever played. But first, let's exit it and then start it up again. Because there is something that will only show up if we start it up. <laughs> <coughs> okay, give it a bit of a time. This is the original version on Steam. Uh, so it does have a bit of issues with some resolutions. Like you can see some, a bit of edging at the sides of the, bo of the, of the, uh, of the box over there. And yeah, this you game was released by Idols and made by... <coughs> Pyro Studios. I, and I don't know if I recognize them or not. Summer 1940. It's because they pretty much only made commandos games. Overwhelming advance of the German oh. screen. <laughs> Poland, Norway, Denmark, Belgium, Holland and France are brushed aside within a matter of months. Forcing the rest of the defeated Allied army to make a rapid, humiliating and shameful retreat towards the beaches of Dunkirk. <laughs> Britain has become the only refuge in the face of the unstoppable advance of the Third Reich. While the German army is getting ready to invade the island, Allied command is desperately trying to come to terms with its situation. Its tactics, armament and commanders have proved antiquated in the face of the vastly superior German army. An urgent rethinking of the army is essential in order to turn the tide of the war. An audacious plan is approved for the creation of a special unit of elite men, experts in hand-to-hand -hand combat, in handling all types of weapons and explosives, men of great initiative, able to cope with and adapt to the most demanding conditions. Only the best, the most highly trained, only men of courage. Their mission, become the vanguard of the Allied troops, the spearhead of the counter-offensive that must lead to the defeat of the Third Reich. The commanders are born. And there we have Mr. Pencil Mustache himself. Uh, sadly, we don't get to kick his ass. <laughs> uh, are you sure it was a, it's a good idea to shoot that on Twitch? Or YouTube? Uh, uh, that is pretty much the only place where he gets shown, so if we are <laughs> getting cancelled uh, over I, that, I, it'll happen any second now. <laughs> I, I meant the entire trailer. I guess it depends on context. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's start with making a new profile. Uh, there's always a default one. I've made a test one well, to test things out, how the game would work. And except for some resolution issues when jumping between menus and, and cutscenes and such, the game has worked pretty well so far. And yeah, let's start off with the training camp. And yeah, there is no easy mode. You only have normal, hard and very hard. <laughs> oh dear. But I think the main difference between them is how much damage uh, the commandos can take, or how much damage enemy uh, armaments uh, deal. <coughs> and, well, in normal mode, if a commando gets down, but you have a different one still around, you can still heal the uh, injured one. Uh, but on hard and very hard, I'm pretty sure once they are dead, they are gone. And you'll have to load a safe to before they got screwed over. <laughs> oh. We must clear this border post to allow our troops to pass through. If we get rid of the commanding officer, the rest will not be able to offer any resistance. First, we have to eliminate these two without making any noise. I can climb up <laughs> and swing along them to cross <laughs> to the other side. 
I see a box. We'll probably find some interesting stuff in there. If you get the metal shears, bring them here, and I'll cut through that fence and deactivate the mine. <coughs> what the? There we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, like I said, the game is a bit wonky with the uh, resolutions. But oh, yeah, our no, first no, no. train it, it is here. Stop showing for a moment. <laughs> yeah, that's that's it swapping between resolutions. Oh. But yeah. We start off with two characters here. We have... Uh, let me open your inventory. That also works. We have Lupin. And... Well, let me switch to you. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. And we have Inferno. Okay. It doesn't really give us much of an, <laughs> much of an actual tutorial. Okay. But currently what we have to do... Well is to kill them all. But we are just two people at the moment, one of whom is a bit of a small one, so he can't really do much in a fight. But Inferno is strong enough to knock people out, and, well, strong enough to tie them, uh, has the equipment to tie them up as well. Lupin does not have the ability to tie people up. I don't know if there is, I believe, we, there is a logbook, <laughs> I believe, where we might be able to read some more on them. But for that moment, we just knock them out, tie them up, and pick them up again. I use Q to select the, the fist attack, of course, then yeah, to, yeah, display the target, and with Shift I was able to change the interaction to tying them up and then picking them up again. And let's see, what was the button to search again? Also, we have the ability... Oh, it's W. I was so we, for this. <laughs> we can look at Lupin's inventory. Inferno, of course, as... Well, you can guess what he is. He's the explosive expert. He starts with a mind detector. And yeah, what that is used for is pretty obvious. For now, though, let's... That's it. There we go. Our German friend here has a rifle. Hotkey F, selecting the weapon. When the target is out of range, the gun sight will be shown in red. Remember, if you manage to steal an enemy rifle, it will have limited ammo. <coughs> yep. We'll just take that. And we also have your uniforms that we can steal. Hotkey U. To put the uniform arm, click on the uniform icon, uh, uniform icon in the function section. To change back to original normal clothes, click again on the uniform icon or press the hotkey. Uniform will permit you to pass unseen in the long range enemy view. If you do anything suspicious while an enemy is looking at you, you will be unmasked. You can only use infantry soldier in uniforms. Each uniform you acquire has a time limit. The amount of time left is displayed in the inventory. This figure will only decrease when the uniform is worn. So yeah, we can be a bit of a social spy with this <coughs> and then last but not least we have these cigarettes here imported cigarettes hot key t select them in the items section click on the spot you wish to throw the cigarettes to when an enemy soldier sees the cigarettes he will go and pick them up you can uh, find cigarette packs in some enemy uh, on some enemy soldiers uh, part of this is hidden from me <coughs> by the camera but yeah let's pick that up and toss those over here because we have this little guy here who has a very special interest in them, apparently. So we just have to intercept him. And there we go, that's another one gone. I'm fighting behind my head. <laughs> there we go. I was for this. Now he has another rifle, another uniform. And let's pick that back up. If we had if he had managed to pick them up. He would have, would have started smoking them, and I'm pretty sure you lose them then. <clears throat> now, last but not least, this one here. Yep, come on, tie him up. <laughs> and if we walk away, he magically keeps tying himself up. <laughs> okay. He has a different uniform, but it stacks with all the other ones. So, there we go. Now, Lupin, you get up. Now, Lupin is a lot more agile. 
accidentally swapping between them. Just right click to drop the bozo. Yeah, like I said, Lupin is a lot more agile. He also has these lock picks of his, but we have nothing to, well, pick at the moment. So, he can climb up here. I, most characters can do climbing, but Lupin is the best at it, I'm pretty sure. Oh, he's also the fastest character in the game. As I'll show off in a bit once things are a bit more safe. So now, climb down here. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we'd rather not walk in front of this guy. So let's hold tap to see where he's actually looking. And yeah, the dark green area, if he spots you in there, he immediately figures out you're not one of the Germans and it will open fire. In the deeper, in the further area, of course, it'll take a bit of time for them to figure it out. For now, though, this box is locked. And it means that the bright green is where they notice you're not German. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the closer area at least. Okay. Wire cutters. Uh, wire cutters are used to cut through barbed wire and wire fencing. Hot key, yeah, hot, hot key. T or I? I think that's an I. It is a bit hard to read at times here, but I think that is an I. Use the wire cutters, select them in the items section and click on the wire fence. You can alternatively uh, keep shift pressed while clicking on the wire fence. Some fi wire fences may be electrified, in which case you have to you know, disconnect the power source. <laughs> and then, of course, we have grenades. And grenades number uh, number th you know, 36 M Mark 1 Mills bomb explosive grenade hotkey A. Select it in the window uh, in the weapons uh, section to throw. Press the left mouse button. When over the chosen spot, you can throw grenades through doors, trap doors, and windows from both inside and outside buildings. The sapper is in charge of handling the grenades. Uh, <coughs> an expeditious weapon, but very noisy and likely to attract attention. So yeah, we will have to be careful with those, of course. I think Lupin can throw... Can he throw them? He... Okay, he's not responding to the shortcut, so he can't at the moment. Which means he'll probably, he won't be able to throughout the rest of the game. Okay. <clears throat> Meantime, Inferno, you can wait for him. The hotkeys for these two are four for Inferno, the sapper, and eight for Lupin, the thief. So, now we just hand these over. Did you just make a... Did you just make a loop with a third yoke? No. That is actually what his, what his title here is. It could be that yes. they named him Lupin and made him the thief <coughs> as a reference to that show. Uh, wait, I don't know if Lupin the third is a thief or detective. I think, I'm pretty sure he's the thief. I've never seen any of that show, I'm pretty sure. Hey, but I only, I only knew him Thanks to memes and mentions in other manga and such, when they talk about other mangas and bits and such, but I've never seen any <laughs> of Lupin shows. I only know they have recently made an animated movie about him. From what I've heard, that one was pretty good. And uh, yeah, it wouldn't be a World War II game without the submachine gun MP40. The submachine gun is a light auto automatic weapon with a high fire rate. Hotkey M. Selected in the weapon section, point with the cursor and fire with left mouse button. It fires in short bursts and has limited ammo. You can reload it by uh, taking weapons from the enemy. Its long range makes it a very dangerous weapon. Yeah, this thing will shoot in a spread and can be very dangerous. So, <coughs> it is much preferred to try and go for stealth wherever possible. It's a machine gun, of course it's dangerous! Yeah. It's done. Okay. It's not a paintball gun. <laughs> and here we go. Using the metal uh, the mine it. detector, we found some mines, so we can disable them. It's done. And then we can pick those up for our own use if wanted. Anti-personnel mine. Very effective when used for traps and ambushes. Hotkey O. 
Uh, select them in the items section. They are sufficiently powerful to destroy any enemies close to the explosion. Click left mouse pen on the spot you wish to place a mine. When you plant them, don't worry about your own men. They will know where you have placed it and will avoid blowing themselves up. The antipersonal mines are used by the sapper. Very useful little bits. <laughs> no problem. Okay, get rid of that Very one. Useful. Now I know there's... I think there are plenty of games where your own uh, characters can set off uh, mines that they have, uh, their friends have placed. Okay. Probably many. That's it. Here's another one. Give me that. <laughs> oh, oh, my shit. Hmm? Oh, hello there, Jennifer Kenobi. You doing well? Ah, General Kenobi, we meet again. That's okay, here's some more mines. Oh, be dear careful. Ghost. Now I'm stuck with that mental image of uh, <laughs> hello there of a Kenobi. It's done. <clears throat> Okay, I wanted to pick up the mine, but uh, hello, do you, doing well? Okay, uh, we're both well, still recovering from illness, but well enough to try and stream at least. <clears throat> and, yeah, we're well, not coughing to death at least. Yeah, like uh, me a few days ago. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, save on command. Uh, welcome yeah, to Commander's Two uh, Men of Courage. Yes, sir. Okay. Disable one more. Oh, that, hey, how old is this game? Uh, it's from the 90s at the very least. Or mm, somewhere in the 90s to zeros. I was well, it's okay, and very well made, I say. Yeah. Uh, there is an HD remake uh, or remaster. Uh, that was released on Steam as well, but uh, the reviews for that are re rather mixed in that it is pretty buggy, which seems to be a very common thing these days, lately. <coughs> okay, oh first aid kit. Heals injured commandos, hotkey O. Uh, you can select it in the items section, uh, click on one of your men to heal him, including the commando carrying the first aid kit. You can heal the commando carrying the first aid kit too by pressing the use icon in their inventory and clicking on the first aid kit. You can see how many doses are left on the first aid kit icon. And yeah, with that Inferno's inventory is almost completely full. Okay, no let's let Lupin in. <coughs> okay. I'm... And... Yeah. You can double click to send the character running, and as you can see, Lupin is fast enough to leave bloody after images. <coughs> what the heck? Yep. Is it a Jedi? You can claw. Yep. Yeah, you can crawl underneath certain objects if they are well, not entirely covering the ground and yes. such. For now, let's give this guy a bad day. And deal with oh. the rest. Anything of interest. Just another machine gun and outfit. Okay. <laughs> and while he curls up into a ball and cries himself asleep, uh, we have grenades. What? <laughs> Catch. And there we go. And the game deals with the resolution change again. <laughs> there you go. And on to level two. Okay, guys. This group of soldiers has been isolated from their squad. Let's see if we can offer them a hand or a knife. According to my notes, there's a radio in the little house. Situations under control. We'll use a radio to inform headquarters. I'd sure like to find out what's inside those boxes. Another revolution shift. <coughs> yeah, yeah, 
the, the resolution chips could always make me nervous. Yeah. And, well, Pyro returns for this level. But we also have... Tiny, <laughs> which is, he has the completely ironic name. I'm not... Yeah, that, that screams Little Yon reference. And then we have Thread, the driver who, well, is an expert of all vehicles and has some special tricks up his sleeve, like uh, Molotov cocktails. Oh dear. <clears throat> and yeah, most of the commandos start off with a pistol of their own, which has unlimited ammo. But it's, it's a bit of a bad idea to try and fight every single enemy on the map, or at least head on. So for now, we have some soldiers to get the pressure off of okay. so we need to get sneaky and over here we have a new appearance also uh, if we are prone we are invisible in the second half of their vision cone <laughs> all right let's wait for him to turn around Good. knock him the fuck up Grab him. Where's the person there? Come on, grab him. I thought there was a rock! <laughs> no, that's a Nazi... That's a Nazi soldier. So, steal your rifle. Okay. One done. Uh, about a dozen to go. <laughs> All right. But you you can guess how things are going to mostly go in this game. We'll have to we'll have to sneak our way around, take out enemies where we can, and then yeah, slowly but surely make our way towards our objectives. For the moment, let's wait on these two to look away. Yep, because he looks this way when he turns. There we go. <clears throat> okay. I think we're safe dumping him here. But let's go prone all the same, just to be sure. Grab his machine gun. Tiny starts off with a knife that he can also use to just take out... <coughs> take them out immediately. Uh, but enemies will, li will let out a shout when they die. Okay. So... <clears throat> Let's sneak around and try and grab this guy now. It'll make us. It'll, it'll make this entire area pretty much safe to go around. Okay. <clears throat> okay. We now need a moment where he is looking away and he is looking away. <laughs> yeah, we could go for him as well, since we have a line. Ooh! Okay, it's going to show nice for that guy. Very nice music, Very nice music. All right. There we go. We're cornered, but he is stuck here with us, not the other way around. So, knock, knock. Tie you up, grab you, and away. And that's that. Let's grab your ammo. And go. Yeah, Tiny here, he is number one on the numpads uh, with character selection. He is basically the leader of the commandos. And... <laughs> okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> Might not be the best time for posing, Tiny. Okay. Uh, looks with too far. Yeah. I would say it looks gonna. Pre 2000s? <laughs> like 99 and 98? Alright. 
no. Let's wait for another. Let's wait for a clear opportunity to take this guy out. Of course, not. We're not doing that when he's calling his freaking lieutenant, because this guy is an officer. Okay, discusses something in German, of course. Are you like shaking in fear? No. And then he gets pissy and punches the wall. <laughs> and he talks to the wall. <laughs> okay, talk to this. Okay, tie you up, grab you, and let's get you out of sight before the machine gun guy crawls back down. Alright. Oh, he has the keys, so we'll take that. He also has this Luger, which we don't have too much use for since we have our own pistols with unlimited ammo. But they do, he, he does have this officer uh, uniform <laughs> that pop, uh, popped up precisely on time. Uh, the normal commandos can't wear these, so these are basically useless. But there is one character, very, very strong and very useful character, who does use them. But we won't get to meet them just yet. For now, okay. we have a bit of a choke point here. And yet we have these guys to deal with. So easiest way. So one and the two and the three. There we go. We probably could have lured oh. one away, but oh well. Oop. What was that red line there? I think he heard the shots, but he's a bit too busy getting shot at to deal with this. Wait, 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 behind you! Yeah. It's this little sneak. Red, of course, means that they are on high alert now. <coughs> Luckily, I don't think there's much that we can cause to uh, cause the soldiers to lose their position. But, yeah, once we're up above here, we're basically free to go harass the rest of these people. Yeah. The lieutenant, with the lieutenant's out form, uh, uniform. Okay. Now we can start dealing with these guys. And... Okay, he has calmed down somewhat. But uh, you see a certain something here? I think you can guess what would happen. We're gonna... Make it levity to toss it at the atom? No, can't get a shot on it. Oh, oh. the little blue lines. Notice that he saw us. Or, but he didn't identify us. There we go. <laughs> Ooh! That's gonna <laughs> hurt. Yeah. I think they okay. actually ate some of the road stone. Good. Okay. But, oh yeah, we that's cobblestone. Yep. <laughs> okay, we've cleared out this side. Grab that. No need for the uniforms, because this is a complete combat situation. Okay, tin food. As individual ra an, in an individual ration of concentrated food, hot key V, selecting the item section replenishes your commando's health bar. Utilize the tin can when one of your uh, commandos has been injured. Remember, there is a limited number of tins, don't waste them. Basically a smaller healing item. <coughs> All right. Let's investigate these guys and bring you two for forwards, get up with the space bar, and then just have them run over. Yeah. Okay. And machine gunner, oh, we already took his, okay. Agreed. Okay, we do have to be careful here, though, since there's still guys around here. But, uh, there we go, alt and click, we can actually change the camera angle. There's nice. also some jackass firing from the window, so we can't go this way around. But their but flank is completely left open. This is a bit rare for these kind of games to be able to do that with. Yep. So let's take these out one at a time. <laughs> actually, oh yeah, I'm actually impressed now, because in a sense, 
That's a lot of work to do. <laughs> yeah, since it basically quadruples the amount of art that needs to be drawn. <laughs> yeah. It does improve the wool tactics uh, thing with the wool game. And here we find a box of toys. Molotovs, grenades, and another new one, the smoke bomb. <coughs> Hide your man behind a curtain of smoke. Hot key Y. Select in the weapon section. The cloud of smoke created by the smoke uh, by the bomb impedes the enemy's ability to locate your position. You can also use the smoke bomb to create a uh, you know, to create a word missing to hide behind or alternatively confuse the enemy by throwing one into a group of soldiers. The gas will stop enemy view and hearing ability. Uh, <coughs> I don't think I've ever used any of those. For now, let's deal with these last two guys here. And, yeah. Oop. Oh, come on. Okay, OBS disconnected, reconnecting. Okay, it seems to have reconnected already. <laughs> or that was a false alarm or something. Either way... <laughs> yeah, where I'm going to take a sip of water. <clears throat> okay. But yeah, that little ring you saw spread out... That was the sound that he made as he died. So yeah, in general, it is a good idea to stick with knocking them out instead of killing them outright, if there is anyone nearby. Now, let's deal with this little guy here and bring Inferno up so he can take over the toys. <coughs> Actually, Trad as well. Okay. Yeah, you can guess... <laughs> These, these stars notify them being knocked out. <coughs> Give them enough time and they will wake back up again. That's it. And... Yeah, you can't just keep punching them even though they're tied up. <laughs> Good. There we go. Okay, you get on your feet. <coughs> and trade with Inferno. Because he can make the most use of those grenades, of course. Also, give the Molotovs and Smoke Bombs the Tread. Uh -huh. And let's give these guys a house welcoming gift. But before we do that, no we can actually look inside through windows. Little uh, panoramas we can open. And if someone doesn't look too happy in there. <laughs> it's ready. Okay. Right click to get out. Get some distance. And hot potato. Okay. And there we go. Now it's safe to go inside. <laughs> That's it. Grab your rifle. Check the officer for anything specific. Nothing. There is a box. With the big boom. Remote control bomb. High power explosives that can be detonated by remote control. As an attack, click on the spot you wish to place the bomb. Head for cover. Press the detonator in the interface function in a section or use the minus key to detonate the bomb. It is used by the sapper. The number of available bombs is shown in the icon. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, we've got some early fireworks. As well as some anti-tank mines. Anti-tank teller mine. Teller mine 35 mine. Okay, that's a bit of a name. Powerful explosive mine. Click left mouse button to plot near the spots you wish to place a mine. They will only explode when a vehicle passes over them. Keep this in mind when they are placed. They are used by the sapper. Since well, he is the explosive expert. <coughs> And like how we can look in places, we can look out into places as well, which gives a lot, a, a much bigger overview. <coughs> okay, uh, Tiny, you go tell the guys that the fight is over, they can stop shooting at nothing. Okay. <coughs> uh, once we get close to these guys, we can take over control, 
like this. Okay. Tiny, these guys didn't live here. <laughs> here we go. Okay. Everyone, just gather up. Tread, you get over here as well, and Inferno can call commands. Yeah, we've got trouble incoming. <laughs> I'm ready. Uh -huh. Luckily, we well have a bunch of anti-tank explosives now. And wait, huh? It was already it was still showing live. But... Okay. Uh, well. <laughs> Now, now I'm just confused. Did I did it disconnect or not there? Okay, a uh, bit of a summary. If, if it did disconnect, uh, yeah, we we managed to get control over the Allied we soldiers ready, here. Uh, we we're, rounded up the last of the Nazis. <laughs> uh, you're trying to say something? Does it welcome back? <laughs> <coughs> uh, uh, yeah, I don't know what happened just there. Yeah, screenshot, please. Yeah, yeah. As just, yeah, you. If everything froze, as just you were about to stab this soldier. Okay, that is just weird. Uh, now you move this over here. It is. Up, hmm. Okay, so everything did disconnect, but it. Hmm. It, it's. Yeah. It still kept it still kept the lifetime of going here. So I, I yeah. thought it reconnected already. Yeah, it took quite a while. Okay, uh <coughs> I'll have to recap a bit then. Uh We're on our way. Uh yeah. We we got control of the Allied soldiers by getting close We're to them. Waiting. Also everyone just stand up now. Okay. And we I sent Inferno in here after cleaning yes. it out by throwing a grenade through the freaking window. With, well, expectable results on the inhabitants. And we contacted Command, who uh, informed us that there's a freaking yes, tank coming to kill everyone here. Luckily, oh. uh, they won't come yet. Uh, they are merciful here, okay. in that the attack will only start once we hit this button here. So let's not hit that button. And instead, use the supplies we just uh, gathered from the box in the house to start preparing okay. for the attack. Uh, let's see them. We have this here, some early fireworks in the form of a remote control bomb. And we have uh -oh. some anti-tank mines as well. So, let's see. What was it again with the controls for these? P and S. Okay. Let's plant these over here. <coughs> A spare just in case. And this one right slap in the middle. Now, if we hit that, it goes off. So, of course, we're not touching that either. But, of course, the tank won't just be coming on its own. It'll have an escort. So we can use these guys. Set them to a crouch. Just have a bit... Okay, stand up straight instead. Okay, there we go. <coughs> uh, Allied soldiers, we will only rarely get to use them, I believe. But they will just shoot on sight the moment that an enemy enters their uh, cone in their line of fire, in which uh, way they are quite a lot more effective service, in uh, quite a lot more effective in combat than the actual commandos. Yeah. And of course they have infinite ammo to deal with as well. So uh, joining us. Oh hello Forgot Rom. Hello. hello Rom! So is everything okay now? Is nothing on fire anymore? 
Uh, nothing too much, at least. And welcome to the stream. We're playing uh, Commandos 2 Men of Courage. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> I know, I never heard of this game. Yeah, it's, it is a pretty old it? one. Oh, definitely old. I, I know I heard major people talk about playing Commander, but mostly <laughs> side mentions. <laughs> okay. What I'm trying to do here is to get these guys into uh, firing position because we are going to be attacked by a tank and its support. So... Uh, I keep... I keep clicking them to move instead of clicking away to the next one. Get you. Position there. Okay. You in position as well. Then you... Oh, you only have a pistol, it's from the looks of it. All the same. Get into position. And you... Take up a spot. Yep. <coughs> A bit more north. Yeah, they can be a bit annoying to maneuver. Okay. Get into the firing position. Tiny down. Thread down. Inferno down. And oh, dear gods. <laughs> before we start, quick save. Very, very quick save. And yeah. It, the resolution changes are when I and when we go into the menu as well, so we we'll probably should try to avoid doing that as much as possible. And yeah, here we go. Charge! <laughs> Send in the wolf. I'm, I'm sure Rome can handle a tank. <laughs> there they are. And as you can see, they are quite effective. Oh, that was a sniper. There we go. I mistook the red lines for last guns. <laughs> what have we here? I don't actually recognize that guy. Yeah, red, red lines is our grass of spots. Any more? Oh. And here comes the big boy. And there goes the big boy. And just for fireworks. It's <laughs> ready. <laughs> Set that off right as the mission completed. In tonight's episode, uh, <coughs> get Emily Bronte. Uh, wait, what? Hey, God, I'll, I'll just share I'll you the Tumblr the page. The German army concentrates all its efforts in the war on Britain. Oh, we're shooting Nazis. The That's cool. Of the Third Reich. Having failed in their invasion of the island uh, of the Yeah, I'm putting it on general. Of the, British Navy. the Germans are now concentrating on a war of attrition. Britain, it's, uh... Um, depends on supplies. Basically, you, you remember the old uh, police squad series, you know, where the naked gun movies came from? Oh. Hello? Basically, someone took, like, I think that's the background for, like, whatever they do tonight's episode, and then started making up titles. Oh, dear. What the? Hey, uh, Hexa. <laughs> Hello, Hexa. Uh, hey, Hexa. <laughs> Bye. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, I think he accidentally joined. <laughs> Probably. Okay. Including, but not limited to... Hang on a second, where did I put it? Get Emily Bronte, mom says I can't. <laughs> Captain Whetstone, birthday clown. Against the World Chess League. Doomsday Brunch. No, you. And of course, the ever memorable. The writer's barely this guy's fetish. Oh dear God. Okay, can we listen now? Yeah. <laughs> Also, hi, Hex. Hold on, sir. It looks like there's one of us in there already. Are they friendly? I think they're supposed to be friendly. I don't 
think he's gonna make it. General, sir. I hope this man wasn't my contact. No. Your contact is a woman. Her name is Natasha. She's waiting in one of the outer buildings. Soldier, try to find out who this other intruder is. Yes, sir. Any last-minute information about the target, sir? No. The Enigma machine should still be in the commanding general's safe. I'm sure there's no need to remind you of the importance of obtaining this machine, soldier. It's required to decode Nazi communications. No, sir. I am perfectly aware, sir. Over and out. And, yeah, that's what we're here for. To steal an Enigma device with uh, a contact on the inside. It's our first night mission uh, as well. Uh, okay. I am impressed by this game. Let's get out of this thing because uh, we don't want to run into one of these little... Mine. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I will steal the Declaration of Independence. Uh, I, I think you're thinking of a pretty uh, different era of movie. <laughs> also, you're not Nicolas Cage. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, that's, that's not treasure, was it? it? Yes. Yep. That was National Treasure. Oh, good God, it's that movie. Oh, God, I... Hey, in tonight's episode, Revenge of the Dutch. Okay. Revenge of the Dutch. That'd be terrifying. Okay. What, what about the secret geese? Uh, what? <laughs> or the stolen colon? <laughs> <laughs> what are you two on about now? Yeah, I, I was wondering, what the hell are you on about the rum? I, anyway. It was a Tumblr page I told you about that makes up random titles. For... Um, oh, Anyways, dear. we have uh, this guy dying here. <laughs> okay. I have to confess, I mistook those two for Teen Teenage Dog for some reason. I must rescue them. Oh, I was trying to escape. Oh. <laughs> Take this. It is everything. Oh. In the encrypted message. <laughs> Quite the encrypted message? <laughs> He's a friend. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> you will have to decipher it <laughs> with the machine. <laughs> the Enigma. Is he French? I don't have much time. <laughs> Look after my dog. <laughs> it will be of great help. <laughs> oh. Mind the fences. They're electrified. <laughs> if you need to cut them, you will find a deactivate switch in the nearby <laughs> room. <laughs> Look after whiskey. <laughs> Goodbye, boy. <laughs> okay. I have, I have a bunch of questions, and the game's out. And okay, the game's back. I was confused for a second. Um, the dog's named Whiskey, and also. I'm, I'm pretty sure the voice actor wasn't French. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, this is one of those dogs. Yep, and he's now one of the party as well. To be specific, he's number nine, right next to Lupin. And, uh, yeah, Whiskey is a dog, as in he can't open doors and such, but he can be a general distraction, and, well... <coughs> the uh, the enemies won't actually attack him, so you can safely send uh, stuff back and forth with him. Also, you can pick him up. <laughs> he shows up in a little backpack. Hi. What the heck? <coughs> Quick, stuff the dog in the backpack and run away. Yes. Okay, let's take a peek outside. Let me. Oh. Yep, that would have been a bad time to exit. Oh, dear God. Well, I mean, you've only got half the Third Reich out there. <laughs> okay. There we go. That's and then we sneak in here. The damn coughing of that character made me stop coughing as well. Okay, that's not the character, that's free. alien. 
Already there. God. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Seems like everyone is freaking coughing. Hey, okay, 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 whatever you infected with this intelligent it tries to communicate with each other. Bloody virus. Okay. We can get behind here. <coughs> Good idea. I suppose. Loop, loop your num nuts. Okay. It went the other way around instead of behind the freaking pipe. Okay. <coughs> Quickly talk to Natasha before that guy turns around and spots us. Well, it's about time. This place is becoming quite dangerous. Yeah, thanks. Why is there a I'm Russian woman in a German what military base in France? The door to the general's office is locked and his assistant is in the canteen at the moment. That's nice for him. And? He has the key we need and must be drinking by now. We'll put some sleeping pills in his wine. He'll then fall asleep and you steal the keys. How do we get some sleeping pills? I brought some with me. And what do we do with the general? I will phone him and convince him to leave the office. But I'm not sure how long I will manage to distract him. You'll have to be quick. Sounds good to me. Okay, now quickly before he catches an eyeful. <clears throat> and yeah, that's how we're going to have to deal with things. First off, though, on number seven, we have Natasha, who is a, yeah, a Russian spy that has joined the commando ranks. Uh -huh. And as long as she is in a uniform... Yes. See? It, it draws a red line, but they don't get aggressive towards her. Fine. And what's better, she can actually distract these guys. Fine. First, let's get those pills. Narcotic compound mark 4R. Fast effect and powerful narcotic. <coughs> <coughs> okay, the annoying thing with this is this, this is now a... Uh, <coughs> I don't know what... It is, isn't a, a cough caused by slime in the throat, it's just by st stuff tickling the back of my throat for some reason and it keeps setting me off. So it is a lesser cough, but it's still freaking annoying. Yeah. <laughs> That's, yeah. Oh dear. It can be used on wine bottles or meat pieces. If an enemy soldier drinks it or an animal eats it, uh, they will be knocked out. But they will still be able to uh, wake up, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, for now, All let's nine. stand over here and we can distract this guy. Just full focus on her so we can actually sneak around. You've got some okay. right man. Um, let's wait for him to turn away again Going there. and head on out. Okay. Yes. In the meantime, yeah, you can stop the, with him and take a look into what is in there, actually. And yeah, they will keep they will keep focused on her for that long. Oh, they are that deprived. I'm joining. Hello, hey. Hex. Big gods. <laughs> it looks kind of cramped over here. We are fusing. <laughs> okay, uh, give me a moment. Uh, <laughs> I'll have to fully leave the game for this for a bit. Uh, Co-host and alerts. Um, let's see. We are legion. <laughs> let's I mean, the thing is, bunch. we now have we have more people co-hosting than we have yours. Oh dear. Okay, move that aside, and then where are you? There you are. Okay. Form edits. Yeah, I moved yours aside uh, for the um, DRG stream. I have a feeling me and Rom are currently missing. No, I'm the wolf. Yeah. Oh, no, there no, you no, go. we're back. <laughs> oh, dear <Okay>. gods. <laughs> yeah, now we have some red lines. Yes, <laughs> I am very important. That's why I have red lines around me. 
Yeah, that's because your uh, icon is currently the one selected. Uh, let me just fix that. There we go. No, yeah, I'm for the main character. That's for otherwise, it looks, it looks like otherwise that the uh, hex is the target. <laughs> I mean, I am is German, so? so who knows? Okay, is Maybe there I anything the else to interact with? Well, since you're German, could you tell us if any of these people's accents are in any way, shape, or form so? good? Uh, I can well, only first. really... Uh, Jesus. Sure. But right. I didn't have heard much <laughs> the Germans talk so far. All mine. Let's see. Okay, that's connected to the electrical fence, so turn that off. Yes. Okay, we I can't go I just now realized slow. you're the hex ghost. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think he wants to do to you request. Finished. Wait, what? Uh, what did you say about me? Hey, that I just you... now realized what your avatar is. You know, oh. on the stream. <coughs> Give me a sec. I don't know. Is my microphone is picking up things. It shouldn't pick up cough. Don't know why it's doing it. There we go. About. Okay. It's never a true stream unless everything is suddenly falling apart at the seams at random. Uh, basically. Well, yeah, we already had it shut down randomly once. Okay, I'm pretty sure we need to be careful with these guys here. Because as good as Natasha's disguise is, actual officers will see right through her. I am going and, uh... Yeah. Shoot. So shoot them in the back of the head and then throw the body in the river? Uh -huh. <laughs> if possible. But we have a rather high concentration of enemies, so we'll have to be careful. Let's see. Can we identify these? The patrol leader. Patrol so men. Are you telling I... me? <laughs> so you're telling me that Puba doesn't work on officers? <laughs> no. God damn it. Done? Yeah, well... Apparently they're that <laughs> dedicated to the cause. Okay. Let's see. We have some workers in here. Just yeah, just some soldiers. Anything we can open up in here, or is it just just a hidey hole? A hidey hole it is. Okay. And who do we have here? That's an officer. Yeah, we need to avoid him. Oh dear. Hmm. But he's looking that way. And I'm Maybe pretty I sure can. Natasha can tie people up, but I'd rather not risk knocking someone out. <coughs> Only to have them run around in a panic afterwards. I mean, you could make it... I mean, you could probably steal whether... Actually, I don't know the game mechanics, so I don't know how plausible this is, but could you knock someone out and steal their uniform and give it to another trooper so they'd go around disguised? <coughs> well, we could st uh, steal their uniform, I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, <clears throat> but I they mean, would still we, run around. To... <laughs> Did you say so? I mean, I can talk to them, maybe persuade them. Oh, really now? Yes, I will break the boundary. <laughs> hmm. I you am can a ghost. Could you persuade them? Can you persuade to give this. me a cigarette? Uh, no, because so? smoking is bad for you. At least can you persuade them to give me soda? Yes. Hmm. Was soda invented at this time? Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh -huh. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> was I mean. I'm pretty sure Coca-Cola was originally invented as some kind of elixir for something. Uh, right. gout and such. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that. Uh, also in Germany, uh, Fanta was already made, which is basically uh, the German version. What, what was it called? Fanta. 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 Right, what? The orange soda. I did not know that, <laughs> and I drank it most of my life. I liked it more than cola. <laughs> it was actually made in response, uh, or during World War II, if uh, what I've heard is correct. Yeah, it was basically <laughs> meant as a replacement product uh, for cola, because obviously Coca-Cola was American, and you wouldn't exactly get 
that sort of stuff during <laughs> 1940s Germany. Yep, I did not notice. And ain't they owned by Cola now? Yes, yep. and now they're owned by Coca Cola. <laughs> yes. Oh, fate turns. To be fair, we also ha still have some domestic versions of it, which are oh superior. For nice. example, uh, Spezi or Paula, uh, Paulana, very good. Can I recommend if you ever get it somehow. Oh Wait. <coughs> ba banana? Did you say no. so? Maybe you could use it to hold people at gunpoint. Is it, wait, what, did you say Paulana's? What? Yes, Paulana. What, what is that? Oh, I will send it to fucking... Oh my... Ooh, a, I've never there. heard that word! It, it is a manufacturer. Ah, yes. uh, okay. Here, spot. Uh, add truck here, there we go. Uh -huh. okay, that I shit is so good. <laughs> I forget a if lieutenants can see uh, seats for disguises. Uh -oh. So this is a bit of an experiment. Okay, he doesn't see through it. That is good. <coughs> Fine. Can we search through this? Ooh, okay, med kit. Some wine. Throwball. A <laughs> tempting distraction. Uh, can be selected at the time. Enemy soldiers can refuse a good wine. When they drink it, they will be stunned for a while during which they can't see or hear allied soldiers. If narcotics have been used in the bottle, enemy soldiers will be sent to sleep until they are woken by a combat. Okay, so that that is what makes sleeping pills a lot stronger than normal knockouts. <coughs> and, well, Natasha can also chuck these motherfuckers at the backs of people's heads. <laughs> right. What's the other thing you Is that meat? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you carrying four pounds of beef? Well, because there's also guard dogs. Uh, I mean, you can always get a German with some good uh, meat. It's oh that. It, it's, I think anyone likes good. Well, most people like good meat. And those that don't, well, some have their reasons. Some <laughs> can't eat it, and some so. are just jackasses. True. Oh, bonus. Yeah, if we can find these throughout levels, and if we can find all of them, we will unlock bonus missions. So we we won't be going specifically for any of those. But if we do manage to unlock any of them, uh, yeah, we can give those a try as well. And there's another piece and some binoculars. <coughs> uh, we all would like to eat pork raw. Why would you eat it raw? Because it is good raw. No, thank mm. you. It, you know, it is actually fucking good. You have to try it at some point. It actually is very good. Mm, maybe. Uh, the only thing I eat it uh, is a uh, smoked <laughs> sausage. That's close. Uh, uh, that that doesn't count as raw, does it? No, because no, I don't think smoked. so. Oh, hello. Uh, and I eat them boiled <laughs> sausage before. But that's also different. Let's grab those. Some more pills. Oh right. Uh, today is my mom's birthday, so. I think I'm gonna leave. I'm also kind of sleepy, so good luck with the uh, with everything. <laughs> Thank you for your birthday to your mom. Um, yeah. yeah. Wish you what a good birthday. Give her a proper hug. Be nice. Got Sarah. it. <clears throat> okay. I didn't yeah, need to ya. poison the food there, but I will. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's try and see if we can actually set up binary domain at some point. Oh, yeah. Let me try. <laughs> Have a good night. Or be uh, safe. Uh, yeah, be safe. Uh -huh. You guys too. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, that's right in front of the patrol Bye. officer, who I'm pretty sure can identify us if we uh, get close. So yeah, let's avoid that. There's a little hidey hole here that I remember. Hmm? You can all just smash a bottle over his head. <laughs> yeah, he that's it. A... <laughs> That'll be a bit difficult when there's a lot of people around. Okay. Now what's in here? Yeah, it's the showers. 
Uh oh. Let's see. Is there anything in here? Just a box with more Lillian. wine, more cigarettes. Lillian, so much use in the shower. You bring Natasha inside. <laughs> well, it's not like they're going to complain about it. Okay, here we are. All mine. And here we have their wine. And here we have their wine on sleeping pills. I don't think you're supposed to mix those. But did, did you? Did I read under the Willow Wall drink that much wine? All right. <laughs> I can't really? say, but it's wartime, so people would probably be drinking for many reasons. That and considering capturing of France, My there's God. a lot of this stuff there. Another one of uh, these. Oh, stolen wine. wine. Oh, and I now we just wait. Wine must be too, you know, <laughs> expensive. Nah, you, you would be surprised what you can get in wartime by just stealing, considering yep. just how much. Gold we stole and shit. I also know how desperate both sides got in food. Like, I learned today to Horrible's history show that uh, German soldiers got so desperate coffee they used charcoal, beans, and ashes to make fake coffee. Yes. Okay. They even make fake pepper made of ash. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Now we have the key. <coughs> and now we need to see if we can get Lupin over here. But these shouldn't be electrified anymore, but... Okay, I, uh -huh. I thought Natasha couldn't use these for some reason. Oh, God, you remember. I think the, <laughs> so both sides actually ate fried lice. Yes. Mm. You are desperate in wartime. Yeah, the, the trench warfare was not pretty. Also, I'm trying to think what the entire picture of me was. If that was the one from Legend Arcades, okay. the fan art of Hex Maniac there, or if it was a different <laughs> one. Uh, you, you're currently All right. some Hex character from Pokemon, staring very, very intently. No, 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 I know that, but I'm trying to think of which specifically. I think that was the one where she was a Shrine Maiden. I have I... to cross-reference. <laughs> I'm Let's... sure if I don't think I see enough uh, of her toes. I only see the damn staring eyes. I have seen enough Hex Maniac art, so... Um, well, what a surprise when my name is fucking based on her. I, okay, that wasn't I close enough. I don't know the fan art than the character. Then again, I've not played Pokemon for years. Oh, it is the uh, it is the correct <laughs> one. Uh -huh. I think okay. I can send it only to one channel for the server. <laughs> otherwise, they will probably just delete me from existence. Oh, <laughs> it is that one. Yeah. There he goes. Nom nom nom. And come on. I would like a light. If you say so. Uh, Are you okay. sure? I see a lot of flashing lights over the dog's head. Yes. I okay. think the wisdom is going for the dog. <laughs> and the dog use a flashlight. Uh -huh. <laughs> what? I guess it's I, I guess dogs could be trained to use flashlights. Well, it kind of reminds me, uh, you probably heard of that truck here, but uh, the Soviet Union tried to do anti-tank dogs. Yeah, fade miserably. <laughs> I mean, you're strapping explosives to a dog in a loud-ass fucking war zone, and you train them on Russian tanks. Yeah. And as I think you train them on Russian tanks, of course, they're going to run under the Russian tank or back into your oh, trench. No. Yeah, they, they did run under some German tanks, but... Most of the time, down. Okay, we had a close encounter there. I don't Ooh, know exactly what happened there, but I think Natasha stepped into the light and one of the patrol officers spotted her there. So her, oh. <laughs> her disguise was broken. Luckily, 
<laughs> whatever light passed over her passed back and I could quickly get her uniform back on. Holy. Wait, she took off her uniform. <laughs> Not in that way, <laughs> your ex. Let me put down a quick save. <coughs> I think that's taking the longest here. Is that... water. Okay, can I not pass back here? Okay, what what happened there? Yeah, be right back. Uh, Hex, make sure uh, uh, that so? uh, Helia doesn't die. Okay, what you need to do is you need to take out a knife and stab the next officer very, very gently. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um... I'm going to try and get Lupin out of the building. You've got some right man. <laughs> He's just doing squats against the wall the entire time. Yes. Okay. He's suddenly worried there. over uh, entrusting Hex. What is that supposed to mean? Fuck you. <laughs> I told you to make sure he doesn't die and I instantly walk out the room. With headphones on, I hear you suggest you have to stab someone. Well, it, it is a good way. <laughs> if there's no one left alive to report, you are stealthily. Uh -huh. That is the good part. Yes. <laughs> okay. Gotta stay low with Lupin. And we'll have to do some distractions with Natasha. Is the dog still out? The dog is still out. Yes. Where's uh, your dog, by the way? <coughs> uh, he's in here. Um, and yeah, he can <laughs> he can just absolutely bolt. Uh, okay, I got oh, lucky no. there. <laughs> Lupin was just out of their <laughs> immediate sights. <clears throat> Why did I just imagine the dog rolling around with a heavy bolter in its mouth? <coughs> okay, I don't think it could, it could carry a heavy bolter. Okay. Uh, let's see. I don't think it's actually known <laughs> how heavy a he heavy bolter actually is. Pretty heavy, since you you mostly right space rings and ogrins oh. could carry those. So let's see. From the Death Watch Core rule book, a heavy boulder weighs 68 kilograms. <laughs> that is the Astartes version, however. Wait, how much do you say? 68 kilos. <laughs> That's the Astartes version. 68. I call bull. N no, it is the bolt. Uh, the uh. The thing is, right, if you compare the uh, official, or not the official, but by the uh, core rule book, a Astartes bolter weighs 80 kilograms, meanwhile a human-sized bolter weighs 7 kilos. I assume that is fully loaded weight. I think they weigh weight weight more! Okay, this is something I didn't know before. Why would they weigh huh? more? <coughs> Wait, are you, talking, are you talking about the Astartes or the human versions? Space Marines are starting. When I look at them, I, I imagine they weigh like 500 kilos or something. With ammo. Mm, that wouldn't make a lot of sense. Where do you gain so much weight? <laughs> I guess they're big, but they're not that big. Well, I probably would need to see. Yeah, actually, I would probably see, need to see one in real life to have a proper guess for. They look heavy. Oh, all right. Uh, so let's see. Okay. Astartes height. Wait. Are... Okay, they are tall. They are tall. <laughs> Seven feet tall. So that's 213 centimeters. <laughs> so, the... Weird. I some measurements. I just know. I instinct weird. I know. And how tall are you? Drug here. Uh, about one, one eighty. One eighty. Uh, so 
the thing is, our stories are roughly <laughs> uh, seven to eight feet tall. It oh. depends. Of course, some space nerds are bigger, some are smaller. So basically, <laughs> the size difference is they would be about a, he a head uh, taller than you without oh, armor. Yeah. Probably with armor, it would be like, uh, let's say, oh, seven foot seven. So you around oh, chest yeah. height with uh, one in armor. Uh, I put it into the no mic. All mine. Oh, so hello there, trucker in the chat. Oh, hello, trucker. <laughs> hello there. <clears throat> okay, so, we've yeah. got the key to get in here, but there's two officers in here. <clears throat> the commander in chief and a normal officer. And both of those would be able to tell that Natasha doesn't belong here. So, let's see, Lupin, you can go... Okay, the door is unlocked, so he can just go in now. So he can go back into his little hidey hole there. And in the meantime, Natasha is going to lure... <coughs> is going to lure them out of there. With this little telephone here. Actually, I take it back. Probably the 68 kilos <laughs> yeah, probably sure unloaded. Considering a M2 heavy machine gun uh, weighs about <laughs> 40 kilograms unloaded. Oh, really? And that's uh, chambered only in 50 uh, BMG. Only 50 BMG. What are heavy bolters uh, chambered again? Okay. <clears throat> I don't know if this guy turns. For anything. Are you crazy? <laughs> Lupin. I think Let's... I agree with him. Okay. Okay, let's pick this thing. I hope he isn't going to look around. Time. <laughs> okay. And there we go. The Enigma. As well as something else. <laughs> we must immediately inform HQ about this. It is of the greatest importance. We must <laughs> risk using a radio. Okay, and whilst we're here... Of course he has wine and cigarettes in his... <laughs> oh, we can also look for that. I know there is supposed to be a button that highlights all of these, but I've completely forgotten which. It's not control. control. Shift. Now shift is the... Alternate interaction button. Yep. Alt. <coughs> okay. But only we be alt at that oh. point, and if it's not, then it's weird. Now alt is for changing the angle. Yes. This game has way too many buttons. <coughs> uh, yeah. We can open up little tablets like this with red, uh, with right mouse click. That does help things a bit. Okay. Oh, it oh, reminds me. I, 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 I got a new share, people. <laughs> a very comfy recliner. <laughs> this is a city of very giant pillow share. <laughs> and it made me realize something. D share is pronounced stolen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it's spelled the same way as the English word for stolen. So you could say buying it was a steal? Oh, good gods! <laughs> oh, fuck. I, I, I was thinking of, uh, oh, dear gods, uh, any English people who was reading Swedish for this share gonna get confused and bloody heck, Hilia took it a few levels up. Okay, let's contact commands. My term. My term. General sir, do you copy me? Go ahead. The Nazis have captured an allied soldier. I don't know why, but that fucking sound effect reminded me. Oh, sorry. Good lord, we must rescue them. We will send the rest of the commandos group to your position. They will arrive in the morning. They will need security papers. You'd better leave the base ASAP. 
Tonight's events will arouse the suspicion of the senior members of staff, and we can't allow them to discover you. And your comrade, the thief, must wait hidden inside the base. I don't like the idea of leaving him alone here, sir. That's an order. Good work, soldier. Over and out. <coughs> okay. Yeah, now our objectives are to... There we go. Contact the wounded allies, steal the office key. Da -da -da -da. The thief must hide under a bed. And Natasha... <clears throat> okay. Where does it... Uh, I'm guessing she'll have to leave on her own. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right. Uh, luckily, this game doesn't really have a, well, trespassing system with your stealth characters, because there is another one who can do stuff like this. So they can basically wander everywhere unless it's not unless it's in the line of sight of an officer who will well expose them. Okay. I still find it weird how a Russian woman is infiltrating <laughs> this. <laughs> she might be good with the accents. Since let's be honest, you probably need a lot of things <laughs> like accent and all that and good acting to be a spy. Or you just need a gun. Uh, I think that uh, is a backup. Uh, maybe if you have enough rounds, you can just kill everyone um, before they notice you. Just clear wrong. the entire... Uh, uh -huh. Wait, wrong? Why did I say wrong? I meant oh. to say hex! I thought I was to say <laughs> rum was on. Yeah. Uh, I have drank all the rum. Uh, wait, I was allowed to call you Hex, right? <laughs> yeah. Hex right, or Ghost or whatever. Uh, just double checking oh, since I've been sick for a while. Hex, mm. remind me to never make you a spy. What if I already am? Uh -huh. What do you think I'm in your server? <laughs> what is I mean, I'm what here is... to collect data. For the FBI. <laughs> Why did I just imagine you dressing up a spy from Team Fortress? Because he's the most superior spy. <laughs> to be fair, Solid Snake also really, really comes close. Come on, look away, you. Is he called as a spy? Going there. He's an infiltrator, not a spy. Screw this. Through the freaking window. Okay, let's see. From Trucker, I think. Start shugging fruit drops, Hilly. And so... It's a lot, it was a lot worse before. And that's that, yeah. it seems. Oh, pro <laughs> check, by the way. If you uh, destroy your throat, you don't have to cough anymore. If it's just what? gone. Yeah, if your throat is annihilated, just completely gone, reduced to atoms. You don't know. You don't need to cough anymore. May you will. never be a doctor. <laughs> I will probably be like that one doctor with the three hundred percent mortality uh, rate on his surgery. <coughs> okay, it seems like we missed some of the pieces of the picture. And let's see. Yeah, this. This doesn't really do anything. There's no leaderboards or anything. This is just for yourself and bragging rights. They're promoted to corporal, apparently. <coughs> oh, good gods. Uh, what the? the... Puma? Don't tell um... me that's supposed to be a Puma. <laughs> that Maybe. thing looks cursed. The truck looks better than the tank. It's not a tank, it's a reconnaissance vehicle. Sure. Or deactivate the underwater There's a big difference. We get the keys to the prison. I still don't hope that it's supposed to be a puma. Because it really looks cursed. Oh, funny windmill. And out we go. Outside. That's the problem. We are outside. There's a German censor version of this game. My concern is, how do we get inside? We have to censor everything. 
is there? We were just thinking about you. Did you get the security papers? Yes, but you'll have to disguise yourself as an official and drive the others into the base with a vehicle. It seems to me that it is going to be as difficult getting in as it will be getting out. Hey, you guys. Here's the good news. Do you have the whistle? Yes, we all have it. Good. You meet our new colleague. I'm sure the Green Beret will be over the moon. He's not with us, but we can call him using the radio later on. <laughs> and now we have access to the full level during the daytime. And we have two new members as well. First off, let me bring that back up. We have Fins, the diver, who, uh, yeah, the name says it all. <laughs> he, <coughs> he can spend his time indefinitely on the water, but he also has a, a grappling hook to climb things with. And he also has a good use for knives, as in he can throw them. So oh that is a very good way of getting silent kills. And next up, we have Spooky, the spy. He can take those you he can take those uh, officer uniforms and command other uh, enemies around. I have a question: Have you played this game before, Hillian? Yep. <laughs> because I'm currently just looking through the uh, cut uh, German version, like what yes. changed. Uh, and I just read Flamethrower. <laughs> yeah, that's in here as well. Let's go. <laughs> Isn't it supposed to be a stealth game? Uh, it is, here. but you can have some fun with it as well. Okay. Would you call a Flamethrower fun? <laughs> of course. I think I do need to put you on a list somewhere. <laughs> to be fair, I'll... I'm from you! I was about to say, I think I'm also already on the list. Also, how tall is this? Hicks? That's it. Yes. Is, there, is there any relation between you and Spooky? Why? Well, you both have sim you kind of related names, like... It says you are Spooky, and his name is Spooky as well, so... And I'm like, he's a ghost. Yeah, and he's not his name is Spooky. Good choice, Colonel. A ghost doesn't have to be spook is spooky unless you're talking about the hex part. <laughs> um, oh, oh. So no relations like, then? But yes. What? I don't uh, think so. At least to my knowledge. Is that mine alive? No, it's uh Loose because Finn's oh. is <laughs> taking them away. <coughs> okay, that, that, that explains. I was. Oh my god, you're Scott Worry there. I'm leaving mines. You know what I also just noticed? It's just how tall my portrait is with the hair a <laughs> Uh, no, no, that's just your antenna. <coughs> Am I supposed to phone back to my home world with it? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's continue messing with these mines. And hopefully not blow the other half of the team up. And yeah, this will be the first big level that we'll have to deal with. And yeah, we will have to find some way to get in. <clears throat> Actually, I know of two ways to get in at the moment. We can go to the front door. <coughs> and ask them politely. As easy as uh, sort of. Because, uh, let's see. Lupin here has... It should be these. ID documents, yeah. With these, uh, the spy can smuggle the other one... Uh, can smuggle the rest of the party in through the front door over here. <laughs> Which is pretty... Uh softly guarded but we can also head this way and just uh fight our way in though oh, as you can see that, that sounds more fun <laughs> i accidentally pulled the switch on my chair to fold out my <laughs> leg thingy <laughs> 
Yeah, I was, thought he was responding to something, but yeah, we'll have to deal with snipers here. Oh dear but... gods. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, there's a lot of this place that is now open up as well that we'll have to deal with. And we'll have to get the keys off of this guy. I, yeah, he's the jailer. Because, yeah, we have an allied submarine to and crew, crew to rescue. And for now... Oh. There we go. Uh, okay. I, I look down for a split second and what you... <laughs> and I managed to set up the alarm by just say driving the boat just a bit too close to the sentry. Uh, they will cool off eventually, though. Oh dear God! One thing after another. And people wondering what happened. For some reason, they decided <laughs> to have this switch for the leg thingy for my chair to fall out between the cushion I sit on and the arm of the chair. Because somehow I accidentally <laughs> pushed it, I just flipped out. Okay, and whilst the drums are flipping, we can swim ashore here. Good idea. I will use my chair to flip the, the soldiers. <laughs> Let's see if I can flip them like a bottle challenge. <laughs> You could also just throw a hex maniac at them. Well, I think they will be terrified of that stare. This is probably the same stare I imagine Helian have when he see mushrooms he likes. That's it. I mean, to be fair, I'm more mad <clears throat> just chucking uh, her at them and they just die. Ah, thought so. Mines. That's it. Would be a stupid mistake to not have those here. <laughs> that's it. Did you say that's it? That's it. Yeah, that's what he says. It, it, the way he says it makes me think that he's just <laughs> wants to walk away and quit. <laughs> like he had enough for something. I mean, it would be very understandable. Disarming minds isn't the easiest thing. Yeah. Uh, true. <clears throat> very true. Okay, let's look for more. And people, if you see a sign that says warning mines, ooh, 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 don't please. walk it's out done. on it. For very old mines are extremely okay. unpredictable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I want to have what is like a souvenir, just put it up inside my room. Okay. And then it accidentally <laughs> falls down, just detonates. Oh dear gods. Okay. I was Let's completely this. sure. I kind of like that French guy with the uh, water me. shell. Oh, what's that <laughs> anti-tank shell? Hmm? <laughs> you mean the one that uses it as a sex toy? Yes. Uh, that's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, that's a story that I in part want to hear and on the other half do not want to hear. You, you have he stuck it up his ass. No problem. <laughs> of course. Luckily, Apparently, however, it was a disarmed chill. Luckily enough, but oh, still, let's one. agree. Let's agree. <laughs> it's still a stupid move. Yeah. To be fair, no if, it, if it wasn't disarmed, there would have been an explosive finish. That's it. Bye, Odin. <laughs> <laughs> no, I already heard so much puns today, and one was apparently <laughs> involving German and Austria today. I heard uh, from my mother. Okay, I need to call a quick BRB, so right. I'll be right back. Mm. All right, what can we say to get Hillian bad off Twitch immediately? Oh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. I mean. Small yoke about him behind his back, but nothing in that level. I mean, there's one word that will get him banned instantly. 
I will not get us banned enough set on that. <laughs> okay. We can joke about him, but let's not do that. No, don't worry, I will not do that. Good. <laughs> for otherwise, I may come for you. That also kind of reminds me of when I wanted to start to Twitch stream as well, and I just had the stream running for like 10 seconds, and then I just realized, oh, bloody hell, people are watching, and then I just stopped immediately forever. <laughs> uh you maybe YouTubing would be easier? I have actually done that when I was younger. Okay. Uh, it doesn't have the best memories attached to it, though. Oh. I mean, yeah, it probably could. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, it probably could. But yeah. Yeah, it... it, it... It's not an easy work, let's say that, people. Like, you, if people think that YouTubing is easy, no. It is not. Just think you can record yourself and get famous? No. That is not that easy. I know. I only got like 126 subscribers. Oh, well, that's more than others I've seen. Uh, well, and the things actually did have, uh, I think, a video of like 10 to 16,000 uh, views, but it was clickbait. Because at the time that was super cool to do, as I think I was like 14 at the time. Oh dear. God. I also had the most edgy fucking name imaginable. It was really bad. Uh, no, it has nothing to do with Ghost, even though that could technically also be considered an edgy name. Are you telling me you were a edge lord? Yes, I fully was. Do you want to know my old name on YouTube that I changed? Uh, that's up to you. Um, it was Shadowblood666, the most fucking edgy name probably ever. Wait, wait, what was it again you said? Shadow Blood 666. That's it? It, it? it. My brother in Christ, Shadow Blood. And then, of course, 666 behind it. What did you expect? Like some uh, racial uh, slur or something? No. You know what? I think I'd be dulled for I have heard way edgier names, though. I think I heard, Actually, yeah, I think those. But probably way worse than things to see, things like Rick and Morty and all that. And it's an edgy. Yeah, they, they, they had some edgy joke names that kind of dulled it out for me. Like they took the worst of the edgiest names. Like, bloody heck, I feel they even did that on Doctor Who. <laughs> some, some baby called himself Apocalypse Lord 69 or something. That, I mean, to be uh, to be fair with the 69, that is a joke name. Mine was fully meant as a serious name. Yeah, I, I'm not sure it was 69 or not if even had number, but I just remember seeing that the Doo episode, just face probably wondered. Oh, wait, it was Stormageddon Lord. So, the, Lord Stormageddon, something is very, very. Like trying too hard, name. I mean, mine was as well. Uh, it sounds good. It says I feel like I heard, I have heard worse. And this yours was somewhat created with shadow blood. Like it, it sounds it wasn't. like something that works. No, it doesn't. I am so glad that I've changed my fucking name. Like I said, this. I heard do things worse than Shadow Ball. That show, I think it is 66. Uh, 666 might be a bit too much, but I had way, heard way worse. I mean, I, I'm trying to think the worst ones, but I think I blocked out most of them due to how bad they were. 
mean, to be fair, what's also very uh, funny is when you look at like D&D &D stories and then you also just have some fucking edgelords in them, like people selling their tabletop experience. Yeah, I think it took some friends that, like, there's some people that really want to roleplay as an edgelord, but there's one prevalent problem. They usually complain that no one wants to offer with me due to they keep chasing everyone away. I mean, to be fair, um, I just also just love the fucking trope of uh, people like, Oh, I'm standing in the corner of the room. I'm not trying to make any friends. And then people, like, like they expect people to come talk to them. Like, come talk to their character. And I'm just standing there brooding like a cool person would. So, yeah. Yeah. I, think I even read a story about where, like, you had four of the uh, stereotyp uh, stereotypical uh, edgy rogues. No, oh, five God. people actually. Five. And the thing is, everyone wanted to stand in his, uh, like in the corner of the room. So you had four people in the corners of the room, and one just had to stand in the middle because there wasn't enough corners. Oh, bloody heck. But yeah, I feel like many who want to roleplay as edgelords kind of misunderstood how to do it properly. And you also uh, make it cringe or just impossible to roleplay with. Yes. I mean, that is at least one good thing, just looking at the people that we have for uh, our d, d thing that we are kind of assembling. He said, I know that Sean isn't one, at least he wasn't when he DM'd. Nguyen, or Nguyen, whatever, Fox person. Yeah, no. There, to be fair, I have all to talk to him. And you know how we are doing like our characters like as a team and he's doing like blender shit. For character, like art basically. Oh, the thing dear. is, some of the things that we have decided on, you could very easily turn that into some edgy shit. But I don't think it will. And we have also talked about it that it will not turn into that. Probably a good idea for... It is harder than people think. Like, I have done some light, itchy characters, but they did never go all the way. Just because I knew what they said, how badly could flip around. I think there have also seen some people that just take the piss out of edgy characters. Like yeah, one that... where his dramatic backstory was that he <laughs> dropped a fucking ice cream cone. Yes, sir. And every time he went into like his edgelord phase, into That's like his it. murderous rage, just a fucking ice cream uh, <laughs> theme would start to play. Oh, bloody <laughs> hell. I mean, what? that is honestly <laughs> funny shit. Like, just imagine, yeah, I became a, a hard, edgy dude after I dropped my ice cream when I was little. Ever since that day, I hate ice cream. Oh, bloody heck, yeah, that, that, that's why I too much. No, and it, welcome it, it, back, Ilian! Uh, yes, welcome back, Mr. Dutchman. <laughs> uh, Mr. <laughs> Sorry, that took a while. Mr. Dutchman, yes. I mean, I've never said it was only him the Dutch fist. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the Dutch star. <laughs> okay, gotta be a bit careful here because the mines are also on this side of the freaking fence. If you like. My fence did white barbed wire. <laughs> but we can do some very funny, edgy stuff if we just, like, make fun of the stereotypical, like, tropes. And, like, there's nothing wrong with edgy you characters, know. just... There's been so many times it has been done <laughs> too badly wrong. Like, there are some people that think they understand oh, edgy lords, but they actually don't. And kind of becomes <laughs> a mockery of it by accident. Okay. Spooky can come ashore. We can totally hear that is. These. If you do it intentionally, like you intentionally Stop. mock it, that's in my opinion good. If you unintentionally, <laughs> like you become a laughing that's sub it. without wanting to become one, that's not good. Yeah. Mm. Oh dear. 
if you want to be like a fucking edge lord that wears bright pink or something. No <laughs> what? That would that would be one, yeah. Honestly, it's kind of tempting. <laughs> no, I got I got my shrine maiden. I will not do any joke characters at least for now. I don't think I would ever like to make a joke character. Uh, I mean, joke uh, actually having like fun with a joke character is actually pretty fun. Uh, actually, I, I think I, had, I have done joke characters in the past, but I don't anymore. I mean, I also just had the idea of like a wizard or sorcerer or warlock or whatever that has piss poor fucking intelligence, but it's like incredibly strong. And instead of actually <laughs> casting spell, <laughs> they would just cast fist. I'm pretty sure that's just a barbarian in a robe. <laughs> I mean, yes, but no. Trust me, it's totally different. Totally original idea. You mean magic fist? No, just punching you in the face, but saying it's a magic spell. Oh, good gods. Where did, where did Inferno get hurt? Oh. Well... I don't think fire mix well in with water. <laughs> okay, let's get those mines off of him, a full stack, which is also, preventing I, him from picking up any more. I need to ask, when was Disco invented? Uh, the 60s somewhere, I believe. Okay, so not during the World War II. <laughs> uh, it was uh, born on uh, the, in the 70s. Okay, so no Disco Inferno, okay. Nope. Yes, se uh, 70s. Of course, this was made during I'm the war. It. Okay. That was now that we're through here. Even before the time when people were like, oh my god, the Rolling Stones are too uh, too much. It's too satanic. Oh, that's an MP40. Right. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Spooky can dress up, and he can now just walk around as long as, again, he doesn't run into any officers like this guy here. <laughs> what for that you can shoot him? <laughs> I hope tempted to call Spooky Hex for some reason. There's no correlation. You're saying you don't look good in hat? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <clears throat> My hair is actually kind of starting to look like fucking <clears throat> actual Hex Maniac. Except that I'm oh, blonde. Uh, I'm, I, 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 I'm not shaved oh, yeah. in w over a week. Right, oh, okay, gotta find. There oh. we go. To be okay, fair, if I had the opportunity, there. I would turn myself into an hex maniac. Okay. What? Yes. If if given the choice, I would definitely do it. And we should have... No. By the way, can you throw out those mines and use them? Oh, of course. <laughs> Let's get a bit... We can use those mines again, yeah? Uh... Like <laughs> Whiskey's a bit one? stuck. <laughs> hmm? Hey, can you chuck them at someone? No, that not. Ah. Oh. Okay, open the door, get back under the bed. Uh, yeah, there are mines, not... Explosive discus? It, it, it wouldn't like work. That. It would work. You can also use mortar shells as hand grenades. You just have to be very, very <laughs> careful. Because you first need to activate oh, them, and then you there have to throw go. them. But if you accidentally dunk against something, then it will just go off in your hand. Uh, dunk? Oh, good gods. I just imagine. Th thank you for imagining. Me, a basketball player, dunking a grenade. <laughs> you know what you to do is, you know those uh, clowns that, like, uh, push cake or pie into your face? They, they just <laughs> take it and then put it into your face. You have to do that with a landmine. Just push it into someone's face. I mean, you'd probably... I think I've seen that! I don't think you will have a hand anymore or a face yourself. <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like that has been done on Tommy Jerry or something. Oh, no. I mean, the thing is, the shrapnel mostly flies out okay. to the top, 
like it's supposed to, but it will still probably mess you up. Yeah. I think most explosive <laughs> will mess up versus face up. I mean, okay. you, if you are doing it. <laughs> oh dear god. Yeah, at the moment, uh, Spooky can only distract officers, uh, can only distract uh, soldiers, similar to Natasha. But once we use this here, are we going to get an explanation about this? Apparently not. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is Spooky's signature weapon, the syringe. And with one jab, they get a bit dizzy. With two jabs, they go down. And a third will kill. Oh, good God. It, it looks like Hicks is thinking about it. <laughs> I mean, I would just put air into them. Uh, 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 what I mean is, all this happened behind <laughs> your character at the moment, Hex. Oh. So it looks like we have been seeing inside your mind. <laughs> I, you would probably see a lot different things in my mind. And now we have an officer's uniform. Probably see just another <laughs> Hex maniac just in my brain. <laughs> Oh, so, so you are confessing you and Spooky are related? No. Well, he was just inside your mind. But he's not a hexed maniac, is he? Or is he? Okay. Over here, we can tell them to look a certain way, or we can send them somewhere. Though this guy's apparently a bit limited in where he can go. Okay. <laughs> For now, just talking to him and getting his back turned will be enough so we can get these two over to the cart, smuggle them in. Do you get an additional, <laughs> like, thing when you do this game, pass, uh, like, a pacifist? Like, middle no. gear? Or is it, like, <laughs> kill? Uh, we can just completely kill every... Uh, soldier on the map but you don't get anything <laughs> like you don't get bonus points or something for doing it pa uh, passively nope that's a bit stupid <laughs> i guess you're getting more points for being the goal like Let's go, you kill when needed what did the thing come out okay. uh, Actually, somewhere yeah. in the 90s or zeros uh, I'm currently only finding the HD remaster, but I don't want to know. I want to know the original version. Okay, Spooky get in first. 2001. Okay. Oh. So it is All actually right. a post uh, Metal Gear. Okay, so uh, but Kenobi was... Uh, right. Uh, what, okay. did... Kale, what did you just do? I don't know what the hell just happened there. I'm, I'm pretty sure they should have been hidden in the car. Or maybe one of them got spotted as they got in. Uh, when was the quick load? Quick load was here. Uh, do we have a load at the start of... I don't think we have a load at the start of the level. <laughs> okay. Which means that we have oh. to finish this one again. Oops. Um, oh, that's Hillian. a secret. Uh, all right. Uh, all how much same. time did we add, considering what happened uh, earlier? <coughs> I forgot to start the timer. Again, uh, let's see. We've been at it again for about ten minutes, so let's add fifteen from here. Should do it, I think. Hmm. Probably a good idea. Also, okay. are there auto safe in this game? Uh, nope. <coughs> Well, that's a bit stupid. Yeah, like, auto says were becoming more and more common, but were always, what, like, that one game that did not have it for some re weird reason. <laughs> auto say fucking Doom had auto saves between levels. Okay, let's do a quick distraction here. At least we know what to do. Yeah, no, so. didn't Doom had more, like, Checkpoints then auto save? 
Let me uh, double check. I mean, it had between levels. Oh, wait. We, we probably could have just hit restart. Actually... I th da -da -da, single player... Hillian... There we go. It's unlocked. And we have three views of our next two missions. White Death and Target Burma. The sport. <laughs> just like the movie. That still <laughs> does look like a puma to me. It looks so strange. Yeah, look. Okay, here we are again. Get that gear on and what get out. What is that? Well, the older vehicles we've seen look like they had put a lot of effort in to at least try to make it somewhat nice. But that thing, I don't know what it is and it looks crudely animated. Uh, okay. Add rock here. <laughs> hmm? Uh, I just added to you. Yeah, that is supposed to be a puma. You can kind of tell what I mean by it kind of looked like one. But it kind of looks... <laughs> yeah. Let's go. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. But like, it still I looks a bit it's off. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be a puma, but they just kind of... <laughs> didn't model it properly. Good chance. <laughs> what is that hmm. type of Puma Puma like? Uh, there wasn't. Like, it definitely wasn't a version of the Puma Let's because go. most other Puma versions were open topped. There was also a, a <laughs> 10 centimeter AA version of it. And other than that, we didn't have too many wheeled vehicles. I was Especially with a turret. Okay, ah. multitasking a maybe bit. We, maybe we get the chance to see its name <laughs> at some point. That would be good. That's it. We can probably stroll that... over and try and take a look with uh, this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that the environment is painted, but the characters are actually 3D. Yeah, armored vehicle just uh, oh come on <laughs> really i armored don't understand why why is it like segmented why are the weird <laughs> weirdly segment uh segmented like the scorpion take from done. halo like i, I don't wait right. didn't did you have That's a tank it. called yes. scorpion no <laughs> vince is done Phew. maybe it was someone other cut that had a scorpion tank that was America, oh. the M56, <laughs> and that was a post-war design. Ooh, almost walked onto that one. That's it. That's it. <laughs> um, it's done. There we go. That is the Scorpion. Oh dear. No problem. Oh, actually, we did have one of them. One for Let's evaluation go. in 1960. Cool. Really, it is no Germany actually. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you can look up uh, if there is a tank that looks more similar to this one. For I feel like I have seen this tank show up in some documentary or something. Are you talking yes. about the Puma or the Let's Scorpion? Go. I'm talking about the more of the one we are semi calling Puma at the moment. There we go. Which I don't think it, it is a Puma. I think it's something <laughs> that is like the Puma, but different for... I think I saw a mind there cleanser on this front part. What the fuck is that? What the hell is that? Schwerer Panzerspähwagen. Is that what it might be? That is... That is actually a thing. Huh. Wait, where's that take place? Which should take no problem. Oh, cool plans. Oh. Oh, wait. You, you tell me you have identified the, t the tank thing. Yes. And what uh, are you called? You are called Schwerer <laughs> Panzer Spähwagen. <laughs> Honestly, I just love sometimes just our uh, full name for things. So, for example, the Pumas, instead of just SDKF sets, uh, Puma. The entire thing is called Schwerer Panzerspielwagen, 7,5 cm, Sonderkraftfahrt, 234 gear, Panzerabwehrkanonenwagen. God, I love the German language sometimes. 
<laughs> it's like Lego with words. Oh, good God! You can make some incredibly long words in Germany. Uh, in German. No problem. What do you have? Oh, bloody heck! Don't remind me of the Monty Python joke. Uh, Where someone <laughs> died, right? To pronounce his entire last name. Uh, where is that? Oh, uh huh. Yeah, schwerer Panzerspeewagen, two centimeter. Yes. Which exactly are you called? Uh, okay. Let's yeah, I feel like there needs to be a short <laughs> nickname for that one. <laughs> oh, it is for the puma. Uh, but you know, I'm just thinking. Oh, it's the uh, two three one S D K F Z two three one. So right. It is a puma. No, it is not. That's the two three oh. four. The puma is the two three four. Okay. Okay. This is two three one. We have a nickname actually. I feel like that the thing needs a shorter name. Let's finish off these. Right now, we, we will just see. fucking call it uh, yeah. just by its number. Okay, 231. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, they actually have a short name. It is just known as the SDK uh, of set 231 or 231 uh -huh. or so. Okay. Okay. Grab some mines. No problem. But yes. Wait, wait, they are here at Sonderkaffen? Sonderkaffenfahrzeug. Basically, special uh, road vehicle or special vehicle in general. Okay, that definitely be so. I thought you said German for Sunday <laughs> coffee. Oh, God. Okay, uh, uniform. Oh, yeah. oh, good God. So, yeah, that'd be something. Nickname it Tank Sunday Coffee. Summon whiskey. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the uh, CKF set. Uh, specifically the eight wheeled version. Yeah. Uh, wait, I haven't you seen that. that. Ilian, don't try to summon alcohol again. <laughs> Vodka. Not like. Okay, it's the vehicle, God. yes. Uh, I actually <laughs> do have some alcohol right next to me, so I'm not drinking it yet, though. Enter the base disguised as an official, okay? Call the Green Ray, rescue the uh, sailors, find the prison key, open the hangar door. But yeah, if you ever <laughs> want to know something about World War II uh, tanks, I am here. Huh. I can just ramble along. Well, if <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's nice to have some experts. <laughs> I'm not really okay, so <laughs> they saw. <laughs> they saw him. They saw Spooky rounding the guard the fuck over. <laughs> okay. And now, now the naked officer is just. was teabagging him. Okay. <laughs> You want to know something about the IS-6 tank truck here? Sure. Yeah, I just right, quick uh, save that after I got through the field. Do you know anything about the IS series of vehicle? I barely know anything about tanks. Right, so uh, they were heavy tanks by the Soviet Union during World War II. Okay. And there were a lot of different <laughs> versions of it. Uh, during World War II, there was the yes. the IS-1, which was a 85 mm variant with a different uh, turret, and then the IS-2, which uh, had a 122 mm uh, gun. And basically, during that, there were a lot of designs which either later down became actual designs in the post-war era, for example, the IS-3 and the IS-4, and the T-10. The T-10 is basically the late late <laughs> old war version of the is tanks because heavy tanks were really a thing anymore <laughs> because a lot of things had higher firepower mainly due to uh, 80 gms and i think guided missiles and there was uh, one design the is6 which basically would have That's been it. electric and during its trials it just caught on fire trying to climb a small <laughs> hill Oh. And it's very similar to yes, the uh, Porsche proposal for the Tiger Tank. It's done. 
uh, that we did in World War II. And Mr. Ferdinand Porsche was so confident no in his design that it would, of course, win the trials, because it w why wouldn't it? Uh -huh. That he produced, I think, 50 hulls, or something like 50 hulls. That's it. And then, of course, it didn't win because yeah. his design was kind of shit, because basically, <laughs> petrol engines would uh, deliver yes. uh, electricity to Let's electric go. engines, and those would drive the tank forward. Okay. Oh. And it was very unreliable, it caught a lot of fire. <laughs> and then, uh, because it would make a lot of sense to just melt them down again, because oh, you have already spent the time trying to make them, uh, the High Command had the uh, cool idea of, you know what, let's convert most of them into tank destroyers. So that's how the third end uh, was born, or as its retrofitted name, the Elephant. <laughs> Uh, basically, they just made it into a casemate tank destroyer, In a gave it a long uh, 88, uh, 88 millimeter, and bolted on more armor. What happens to a tank that is already underpowered and already went up into flames at, at its trial, and you add more armor to it? Oh, there's just. So, yeah, basically, it went poof even more. They tried to improve it a little bit. And one vehicle was uh, turned into a command vehicle, which, uh, which uh, Wait, basically the, uh, the normal Tiger <laughs> turret was given to it. And uh, the fun part is there was a documentary with like a veteran that served on the Eastern Front with the Ferdinand. And basically, the thing is, they try to go up at like a small hill to get into a better firing position. And then they just started to explode and catch fire. So they thought, oh shit, we were under attack. But no, it was literally just because the engines were so overworked, trying to get up the small hill, that it just caught fire. Holy crap. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, and at that point, you should realize you're a completely you're a complete screw up and just get out. <laughs> yeah, I, I would be abandoned a tank quickly. I mean, the thing was actually uh, from the few combat reports when that thing actually got into combat, it was very effective just because it had uh, 204 millimeters of armor and a long 88. Was it a short 88? I can't remember. Uh, the, the, the only again. German tanks I can remember from my head are <laughs> the mouse and the rat. <laughs> so yeah, I the rat that was never made and the mouse that had one and a half prototypes made. Yeah, I know. I remember one was never made. <laughs> like they, that was the rat I think they made one. I think they made that, one and it was a disaster. That, that is the mouse. The rat was never made. Yeah. Uh, the mouse, uh, it had one complete thing made, and, uh, and one where it's only the hull. Right Same with the E100. No, mm -hmm. wait, no, I think there were actually two mouses almost completely finished. They just stuck them together post-war to get a uh, working yeah, vehicle. Moment. But yeah, other Let's than see. that... Can I get that guy? Yeah. Uh, I kind of know, get curious, will we see... <laughs> How to call it? Strange weaponry in this? In no. <laughs> All right. So no, none of the experimental weapons then. No. Uh, <laughs> Certainly not to my biggie. remembrance. Um. Okay, so let's go this. here. It, it will be comical if the if there was a boss fight with <laughs> a rat. No. <laughs> Honestly, the thing would have got... The thing is, even the 180 tons uh, of the mouse were already way too much. Like, no fucking bridge could handle it. And okay, I've got an idea here. And the rat would have been even more ridiculous. Yeah, probably terrifying to see once you realize it basically breaks round oh, and moving. It. Okay. Uh, yeah. What happened? <laughs> he spotted the body of the other one. Oh. Uh, <laughs> also, what really happened 
uh, terrifying because there's a very cool thing that's called artillery and close air support. <laughs> and considering at okay. the time where the tank was proposed, the Luftwaffe <laughs> didn't really exist anymore, <laughs> except maybe as like a couple of short corpses on the ground. Yeah. Basically, what would have happened is you see that thing, probably would have got stuck somewhere or just ran out of fuel or broke down, which is also very, very likely. And then you just had a couple of planes just bomb it. And that's about it. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that problem. Hmm. Same uh, with the mouse. Okay, let's try something again here. We do a quick save. We do a full save. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the thing is, World War II wasn't the only era where they tried to use <laughs> heavy tanks. You also had this thing in World War One by the French. Mm. Yeah, gonna try. To, we may look at it soon, since well, we all cool commentating this game. <laughs> This I haven't felt like we talk too much <laughs> of this game at the moment. Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's go, sir. Also, we yeah. can just look at both things at the same time. At least I can. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty here. sure we should be able to get these two in through the car. Hmm. Do not <laughs> run over any cool children. Prepared. Okay. Okay. Uh, we can set up this to see who can see a specific spot as well. This is very useful. So when Excellent. that guy is over there, he doesn't have line of sight on the guy here. So I'm going to hide him deeper into the uh, bushes here, into the trees here. <coughs> see if that gives us some time. It's ready. <coughs> and Let's go. yeah. Spooky will need to go in first as the driver. <coughs> and I'm thinking this guy fight. spotted one of them as they got in, and that was what set things off. Uh, if not, we'll just have to sneak them back over here and, yeah, find a different way to sneak them in. Probably through the other side of the compound. It's probably because Spooky <coughs> doesn't have his driver's license. <laughs> Oh, he does. Also, I'm pretty sure you can accidentally kill your own commandos by running them over. <laughs> Makes sense. I mean, you can run over the enemy. <clears throat> okay, wait for him to turn his back and Which get in. Can't we uh, spot the bodies? Wait, did that body just move? Okay, so they, they, they can just see them in the vehicle as well. So whatever memory I had of smuggling them in, is just playing wrong. Maybe they uh, can hide mm. in the booth or something. Yeah, I think I heard one of the Germans shout something. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I mean, I can't <laughs> the alarm was going off at right very. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, is that a body over there? Yeah, it's the officer that uh, I stole the uniform from. So... Maybe they are seeing the body. Yeah, uh, it. He was hidden over there, so it wasn't that they were going off on. <clears throat> okay, let's try and get this clunky thing into position. He should be moving oh, over to check the papers. <coughs> wow, just like my favorite game, papers, please. Uh, he'll leave. Uh, I don't think you have license. I'm surprised. Nothing happened from that. I'm pretty sure an officer would be shouting at you at the moment for that. Yeah. Special. <laughs> are, are they wondering? Is is this driver drunk? Hmm. Kubelwagen. <laughs> oh, there we go. Don't say anything about a Kubelwagen. I have uh, seen uh, one of them in real life. Uh, what Granted, is Kub? What? Mm. Yes, I have seen one of those <laughs> in a yard. Uh, what does Kubel mean? A very good question. 
for I mean, a wagon is very obvious. Uh, Kubel is basically, um, <laughs> how do you say, a uh, bucket. It's called a bucket wagon? Basically. <laughs> it's mainly because of the uh, hmm. roof. <laughs> well, that also worked to get in. Okay. Yeah, we are going to need bucket to find a different wagon. way to get the other ones in. Well, <laughs> As Inferno is just posing against the wall. But uh, yeah, we've gone a little bit over time. But uh, what are your thoughts so far of this game? I, I am. It exists. I I, I'm very impressed. Like, sure, amazing. It probably be obvious I've been seem very di distracted with uh, talking with all the other guests we had today. But I have been trying to pay focus on this game as well. And I am very impressed over the dead damn deaths you can do in, in this. Oh, hello, remote explosives. <laughs> Don't mind if I do take you. But yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to see more of this game for mm. not many games around this time I know of that you could do <laughs> so much. Yeah, there will be plenty of game to go. Uh, I might need to bring up a guide here and there to, uh, to help me along. But so in general, I remember the game being pretty good at pointing you to where you need to go with things. The next level might be a bit more difficult, but that's because it'll induce, introduce uh, a little something uh, related to, well, snow. But beyond that, the rest of the game should be pretty straightforward. It'll just be how we get from point A to B through C and D to actually get things done. Because we need to go f get the key from this guy, then open all of this up somehow. <coughs> and safely get the sailors back to their ship and GTFO. All right. Do, I do want to... Is the subtitles? We miss you. I don't think so. <coughs> yeah, uh, that, all of those cutscenes only... are pre-rendered, so they don't they don't get uh, cut, uh, they, they don't get subtitles on them. Yeah, for I noticed it, that many times the characters talked, there were no <laughs> subtitles. Like uh, when they used the mission and such. This I realized. Yeah, probably good to stay quiet so one can hear them. Yeah. But Mendoz kept talking over them by mistake. There we go. Don't think it actually saved the first time. And one thing I also like with this game is just the rusty buttons. Really? <clears throat> and uh, yeah. Uh, that has been our first stream of Commandos 2 Men of Courage. So let's get another freeze frame and exit. And now I can turn off the screen capture because, yeah, this game doesn't really like to play uh, with the uh, game capture uh, systems. Uh, let me turn all the icons back on, put my background back to normal, and then we're going to look for someone to raid. Let's see. Server is still muted. No, now now it's just muted. Okay. <coughs> Change the screen share to the browser. Uh, is it having you know, the usual effect of just completely blinding you at the moment? No, no. It's just showing me... It well, looks like a picture of you <laughs> taking the option of clicking screen share instead. Yeah, screen share with DMs in the background. Okay, odd. <coughs> okay. Uh, you've got... Yeah, you've got the Brave Browser showing now. It should be... Let's oh, see. Humble swimming. Yep. Viking Blonde is doing talk shows and podcasts. Uh, Nestra Game is 2023. Will and Aprius see the future? What the hell? <laughs> I guess they're doing predictions for gaming in the next year or looking at games that will come out next year. <clears throat> uh, let's see, Halloween 4545 is streaming near Automata. Then we have Smoop's Other Nonsense, who is streaming Oxygen Not Included. Derpy Dew is streaming Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin. So they moved on from uh, <clears throat> Iceborne. And then I there's... I need to finish that. <clears throat> I don't even own it. 
Uh, let's see. Then we have Black Shadow 993 who is streaming Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition. And in the recommended channels, we have Edit Edwards streaming with West of Loathing. Joe Katz who is uh, streaming Final Fantasy 14. Uh, Dinkle Bean with Hold Fast Nations. Uh, what is the rest? Hold Fast Nation. There, it's not actually telling. <coughs> oh, there. Nations at War. Then we have Digby Th Tatham Wart. What is what is that full name? Uh, Digby D Tatham Warter, who is streaming DCS World. I'm th thinking that is a Digimon. Uh, let me double check. Mute it. Yes. <laughs> is this Digimon? Well, no, DCS is the flight simulator. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's head back then. Uh, da -da -da. Sushi Fur is just chatting. Jimmy McGinger is streaming Disco Elysium. And last but not least, we have Wartail, who is streaming Dragon Ball The Breakers. Any of those of interest to raid? Joe Cat. I know them. <coughs> and we're here. Hmm. Or Soviet Womble that also exists. I'm thinking Smoops. Uh, the, the, those guys are a bit big to raid, if you ask me. Okay, then <coughs> do that. Yeah. <coughs> um. Either Smoops or Derpy. Oh my God! It's Ma James May. <laughs> James May cheese song. <laughs> yes. <laughs> One hour remake. remix. What the hell? <laughs> yes, it is a remix of James May saying cheese. Okay, we're rating them. Of okay, he channel, has a watch top here, so that's. <clears throat> I actually don't know how rating <laughs> work. I think I'm a bit too uh, young or old, probably both at the same time for <clears throat> this. Okay, Girls there we go. I never interacted with Twitch. Oh, that was uncomfortable. <laughs> I just had a bit of a cramp under your, uh, under my shin. Okay. Great prep is starting. So uh, I can hear myself echo with someone. Uh, thank you, everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you, General Kenobi, for showing up. Uh, thank you, Big Trucker, for, uh, for showing up and chilling along a bit as well. And of course, thank you as well, Hex and both yeah, both Hex and Vakir for showing up. And well, they, they're gone by now, but Ram also as well. Still, thank them as well. I and... like them as always. <laughs> uh, let's see. I sh yeah, I sh I should have tomorrow off as well. And yeah, if my throat doesn't get any worse, we should be able to stream again. Maybe maybe once, maybe twice. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, until then, thank you all again, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone. <laughs> See ya. And look out for flying tanks. <laughs>